Cheryl's making a batch of peach preserves to sell at a local market. She has 192 ounces of peach preserves to place in either 8 ounce or 12 ounce jars. Which graph best represents the number of jars Cheryl can completely fill with preserves? Well, as we take a moment here, all that we're given is we're given pictures here. And um, I am, think that we can eliminate the problems that have the, the dashed or the dotted lines in them. I had to pause the video for a second, so I just want to go back and recap. Um, this is the peach preserves problem. And I think that our answer is either going to be the first graph because it has a solid line or the third graph because it has a solid line. But if we go back and look at uh, what the parameters of this problem are, we're making two or we're filling two kinds of jars. We're filling an 8 ounce or a 12 ounce jar and remember that she has 192 ounces of peach preserves that's all she's got so we can use less than 192 we can use all 192 ounces but we don't have any more so the combination that we're going to use there is going to be that equation and once we get the equation written let's go over here to Desmos and let's type it in. So 8x uh, plus 12y is less than or equal to 192. And then we're going to have to move our graph around a little bit. Um, luckily, I'm on the iPad. So what we can see here is this is the picture. And when I look here, that point is 0, 016, and this point is 24, 0. And then when we go back and look at our possibilities here, uh, I already forgot where our top point is at 16, and our bottom one there is at 24. So we had to be able to write the equation to be able to graph on this particular problem.